Hello there, very good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on your location. Uh, we are happy again to share with you the status of our farm. Uh, based on our hydroponics, as you can see here, we have, of course, uh, uh, a mix of uh, hydroponics and the soil based. So it's a system here I thought I could also share. You can utilize your wall, perimeter wall, to grow, leave uh, vegetables. And then here we have a system based on buckets. Here the system we are testing to see whether you can stack buckets together and they grow hydroponically, which is proving to be very, very, very strong mechanism. Because there's enough space inside the bucket and a lot, quite a lot of water, that's why this Saturday is growing very, very well. And uh, also this lettuce is growing very well. Up here, things don't work out, uh, fail to work out uh, as we planned because we kind of planted uh, these, uh, put these uh, lettuce uh, leafy uh, plants uh, when they are still uh, young, they have not developed enough roots. But however, uh, by and large, the system works. Uh, so you can see inside here how it looks like. Uh, you can use uh, you can use uh, a sponge or you can use any other grow media uh, like cockpit uh, and the other grow mediums of your choice and then inside here I may not need to get in these are our nursery beds and then here we have the systems that uh, we are planning to uh, use for commercial so we plan to make over a thousand vertical towers that will be planting different leaf uh, vegetables and on this side uh, this side you can see we have uh, uh, lettuce we have a we have basil growing very well uh, you can see they have uh, a saturating system the, the system is running on a saturated uh, saturating water i think you can hear the sound of water uh, so basically the idea is to have what we call oxygenated water so that is the system and then on this side you are able to see another vertical tower you can put on your balcony this one is also suitable for your balcony. And coming down here, this is a new system we have come up with. It covers an area of about 1.3 square meters. But you can imagine it can plant up to 108 uh, uh, plants. It has 108, 108 grow holes. So you can see the power of uh, hydroponics, uh, vertical farming. Uh, I mean, this space from this side up here, it gives you about uh, 400, 500, about 450 uh, plants. So 450 plants requires a lot of uh, land if you are to grow in soil. Moving from that side, uh, we have another system here, uh, a simple one for home. You can also set up something like this for your home. That one with gray pipes. So moving on, moving on, moving on, moving on to this uh, this robust system. Uh, this one, I, li I like this so much. It has proved to be a very efficient system. You can see it is a... Uh, having uh, uh, basil and it also has up, up there it has uh, it has uh, lettuce and we've been harvesting this lettuce so here is the system it works very very well on this side we have another one again these are also based on a pump symbol pumps you can hear the sound of water. Uh, there is a pump in here which pushes water through that tube, uh, through that uh, 
a little pipe here yeah? hose pipe it's a small hose pipe but it works so there's a, a little pump inside here and then to conclude the video i have what we call uh, this cracker method cracker means you don't need a pump still the growth is tremendous it is good this is on the wall the most important part of hydroponics is to understand the concept of nutrients if you can't get nutrients right you, you don't need to to, uh, to to waste your time with hydroponics because you be putting a lot of energy uh, putting the getting the seedlings and then you end up put wrong uh, nutrients in the water and you end up not growing very well so this is the idea behind the future of farming this is the future of growing leaf vegetables as you don't need the soil it is pesticide free uh, uh, herbicide free you don't need to uh, use pesticides in case these plants get attacked by uh, 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 bad stuff like uh, the the the, uh, the the bad stuff like insects or uh, any other uh, uh, other insects that can damage them uh, you use what we call him oil and uh, this is a growth another aspect that you need to take note of is to always check water water levels as you say after two days but so long as the system is not le uh, leaking uh, you, 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 your water levels will not uh, reduce very fast but you need to check because also the letters consume somehow absorbs water into these leaves so uh, i think that's what i have to share for today and uh, as i said this farming is very very flexible at least you better grow uh, vegetables that you're sure of that you are not uh, uh, your vegetables that uh, have you've not uh, put pesticides pesticide on uh, because uh, you know the, the 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 issues to do with those pesticides um, probably some of the pesticides is where we get the problems of uh, the diseases we don't know uh, sometimes where diseases come from probably from pesticides and other uh, places uh, other uh, other aspects so at least we can always look out after ourselves by planting our own leafy vegetables with that let me stop here and i look forward to sharing more videos in the areas of hydroponics thank you very much and i look forward to sharing more content let's embrace the future of farming let's embrace modern urban agriculture because this farming can be applied in urban areas in, in town uh, as you can utilize uh, in towns and cities and buildings as you can utilize that balcony let's let's embrace uh, this farming as it also protects the environment you don't need land to plant what you need is water and the containers that can hold the water put the plants in there and they grow as simple as that and they feed your family of course some plants will continue to be uh, grown in the soil like the grains you can't grow a uh, maize in hydroponics well uh, this, this is the vegetables that require a lot of uh, space we can grow hydroponically and there's also some fruiting plants they can be grown hydroponically uh, like uh, uh, like uh, uh, which one can i give kohlrabi uh, that can be done hydroponically even tomatoes can be done hydroponically with that thank you very much for watching my videos and i look forward to sharing more videos please subscribe to my channel like my videos and share my videos make comments happy hydroponic farming bye for now all the best nice weekend and uh, i look forward to sharing more
Bye for now.